So here we are, another week of lazy vegan lunches. I think I made this video about a year ago and I'm only just making a second one now and I really enjoyed it. You guys enjoyed it too, so here it is. Day one is literally making whatever vegetables I had in my fridge slash from the garden, some edamame beans, kimchi and brown rice that was again sitting in my fridge. When it comes to lunch, I like it to be super quick, easy, lazy but try and incorporate, you know, some healthy things. And you'll see quite a few courgettes throughout this week. And that's simply because when they grow, my goodness, do they grow. We had so many from the garden and we are very lucky. So I wanted to make sure I was eating them. As you can see, I've just cooked the courgette with edamame and some kimchi and putting in some brown rice. And that's literally it. This is the laziest kimchi fried rice I think anyone has ever made. Well, that's actually probably a complete exaggeration. Apart from that, I added some spring onions and then a lot of you guys asked me how I implement or how I eat the kind of pickled carrots and chilies and things that I make. So I just put it on top of here. I added some soy sauce and that was it. As I said, you can add so many different things like garlic and ginger and onions, but this is a very lazy, lazy meal. I'm probably gonna eat all of this to be honest. Now Tuesday. Well, I hadn't made a kind of red lentil dal or red lentil soup in a really long time. And there is one recipe that I use that is, l oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how lazy it is. I just put some rapeseed oil with some onion, some garlic, some Cuban seeds and red, red lentils. That's pretty much it. I added some vegetable stock just to give it some, well, quite a bit of flavor. But honestly, it's such few ingredients. And once you put everything in the pan, you just leave it. You just leave it to do its thing. And in 20 minutes, it's done. The cumin seeds make such a big difference, especially when you toast them with the onions first. There are so many great dal recipes. And to be honest, I hadn't eaten dal for a really long time because when you become vegan, it's literally the only thing that vegans online advocate for you to eat. And maybe that was because Vegan recipes weren't the biggest thing when I first started, but it means that I haven't eaten dal in a while. I think the last one I ate was a rainbow plant life recipe and wow, hers was amazing. It was luxurious, there were so many more ingredients, but this is just a really easy one. And I kind of made it into a bit of a soup, so I added in a piece of rye bread as well. I really love rye bread. I don't know why, it's just the taste, the texture, the crunchiness. As you can see, I'm having quite a small bowl. I thought that would fill me up, it didn't. So later on, I basically finished everything that I made. I'm just putting some salt and some lemon juice on top and that's it. If I had some hot sauce, I would have put some hot sauce on it too. I don't know why, but it tastes good. Hello friends. It is lunchtime again and unsurprisingly, I am feeling very lazy. So we're gonna be making a really simple, open sandwich kind of vegan tuna thing. I've made this before, but we have to improvise today because we've got a few vegetables from the garden that we need to eat up and we also have no chickpeas. So I'm trying it with cannellini beans. Let's see how it goes. And of course, I'm having a cup of coffee first. If you didn't know, I'm actually home alone. Today is day seven. I've been at home alone with Ralphie, my sister's dog, and Iggy, my parents' cat. I've been talking to them a lot. As I said, I'm going to be making this kind of vegan tuna sandwich with cannellini beans and sex. I didn't have chickpeas and to be honest, I was quite surprised at how well it turned out. I also didn't have any fresh herbs, so I just used some dry dill 
and some salt and then I added, let's be honest, too much mayonnaise. But it was, I mean, is there anything more delicious than mayonnaise? I'm not, I'm not quite sure to be honest. I just put this on, I had to use up some of the veggies from the garden so I had some mini cucumbers and some tomatoes and I layered this very bizarrely. I should have put the cucumbers on top of this but no, I went for my vegan bean mixture. Put that on top, then I put my cucumbers, then I put my tomatoes and that was pretty much it. This was way more filling than it looks. I uh, really enjoyed this. I also put some of my red onions that I pickled on top. I love rye bread so much, it is just mm. And lots of people ask me what I do with the things like pickled red onion and the pickled carrot and things like that. And I honestly will just put it on anything. If I have a rice bowl with like tofu and stuff like that in, I'll put the carrots and the chili because they just go. And the pickles just go so well on any sandwich, any wrap or things like that. It's just so delicious. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this now and we'll see you in the next recipe. Thursday was, again, whatever was in my fridge was going to be made. I had half a block of tofu left that I needed to make, so I chopped that up and I put that in a pan with some chilli oil. I love chilli oil. It just adds so much flavour. This was a very bizarre mix, but I feel like a lot of us have that, you know, when there's just a few things in the fridge that are kind of random, but we just need to eat them up. And again, we had more courgettes from the garden that needed eating, so I just shoved them in the pan with the tofu as well. I also had some couscous, so I kind of made like a couscous salad with some tomatoes and some cucumbers from the garden. And then I just put loads of random things in, as I said. We had all of these really teeny tiny ones, so I just put them in whole, and they're just little bursts of flavour. It's delicious. We also had some salad leaves that I that I smushed up and put in. And we also had some spiced beetroot, uh, pickle beetroot that my mum had made that had been sitting in the fridge that needed eating up as well. I genuinely mixed all that up and then put some tofu and the courgette on top. And then again, some of these pickled carrots and chilies and some of the pickled red onion. I also added some hummus, which just brought the whole bizarre mixture together. And to be honest, it was actually very enjoyable. I do like a mix, a bizarre mix. Oh, I also put some olives on as well that I forgot to film. Okay, Friday, more courgettes, what a surprise. So we're making, we were particularly lazy on this Friday. So I just made some courgettes that I put in the, the pan with some olive oil and I add some salt later just to sort of grill them. And then I put them in a wrap again with whatever I had in the fridge. I'm sure this is gonna get old, but this is the reality. I, I use what I have, hummus on some wraps that had been sitting in the freezer for a while. And then I put some salad leaves on, the courgettes that had been roasting. And whatever else I had, some green onion, some of my pickled red onion. And then I put some sweet chili sauce on. Random, and there wasn't very much left as you can see, I'm struggling. To get it out but it sweet chili sauce and hummus just goes so well together and then i ate about two of these wraps because that's all i really had so yeah not the most exciting but actually it was pretty delicious hummus and sweet chili saturday was a day for eating up some lentils that i had pre-cooked i made i used these for a recipe that i used in a meal prep video that's coming out soon but we had quite a few left and if I don't use them up then the dreaded food waste happens and I hate wasting food. So we're just chopping up the rest of this parsley and some spinach to throw in there as well and we're just going to make a very easy lentil salad. Again using just some fresh things like spring onions and some red pepper. I'm going to throw those in together and mix them all up. I think we also had another cucumber from the garden as well which we used. I don't know why I'm saying we, I, I'm the only person in the house at the moment. <laughs> and then I just mix it all together. You can see on the left there's some sauerkraut. That's something I made in my food prep video and it's finally ready. And to top this off I'm just making a tahini dressing with some salt, maple syrup and lots of lemon juice. And once you kind of 
mix it all up it becomes quite thick and then you want to add in some ice cold water and it makes it so creamy and delicious. I could literally drink tahini. So I'm just having this lentil salad with some more rye bread and then I'm going to have some of that sauerkraut on the side and then put my tahini dressing over the top. I purposely made quite a lot so that I could have the rest of it sort of later or tomorrow. And then we have Sunday. For Sunday's meal, I am having something that I meal prepped, I think a couple of days ago for a meal prep video. And this is a mushroom stoop, stew slash soup with dumplings. This is a little clip from where I made it. This is gonna be in my meal prep video that comes out in a week or so. And this is one of my favorite, favorite meals. And this is why I love to meal prep because it just makes my life so much easier when I'm busy and I just wanna have a delicious meal. Okay, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it lets me know you want to see these videos.